Yo, welcome back to the Waviest channel on YouTube, bringing you sneaker reviews, clothing reviews, dope vlogs, and everything in between. Today, we're taking a look at the Fear of God Converse Skid Grip, or maybe flipped around again. Converse Skid Grip Fear of God? Maybe? I don't know. However you want to say it, that's what we're looking at. I'm in this outfit again, but literally just recorded this video, so... That's why I'm in the same outfit. And I don't feel like changing. I, I'm ready to just put them out there for you. But here we go. Here is the box. These are heavy. So you have your essentials box here, the Converse box. These are a size 10. You can see right here. So I got these from Converse actually on the initial release. I really wanted these because they are quite a different shoe. Something new for what I wear in my collection. Something different. I like to have variety, even though I'll probably wear these like once a year. Uh, it's nice to have the option of something like this. I like the colors, you know, so let's uh, pull it out. Let's take a look at them. And here we have them. So this shoe is the Skid Grip. It is a shoe that is pretty popular, pretty common uh, for a Converse besides like the Chuck Taylor. It looks like a Vans shoe. Typically when you see them, people have them like tied up way tight. It's just, it's not a Vans shoe. It's an 80s model. It's an old shoe, it's pretty classic. I just don't really see too many people wearing them now, but I do still see people wearing them. They're not sneaker heads or anything like that, but that's the silhouette and that's the model. That's pretty much how I see people wearing them or yeah, but this is a little bit different. I believe they did come in the high top at one point, but as you know, Jerry Lorenzo, he likes to take his own take on things. So the sole is a little bit thicker than, than the common skid grip. You have the essentials on the back, the fear of God. The bottom is the same as the other skid grips and the front part here is the same, but it's just this part is a little bit thicker. This colorway is pretty crazy, pretty loud pretty out there as you can see it has blues greens purples even black white all around the shoe it is supposed to look like a vintage 80s style like colorway uh, Jerry Lorenzo wanted to do this model because a model he liked a lot was the skid grip so it's kind of nice kind of cool idea that he gets to work on a shoe that he wore a lot when he was younger. If you didn't know Converse and Nike, Converse is owned by Nike. So, I mean, that's kind of where the collaboration overlaps. Also here, on you do get two pairs of laces, like a rounded lace here, thicker laces. I like these a lot better than the other laces that come with it, which are these flat laces. I think these would look good on the shoe regardless, but I like these better. These just kind of look better in my opinion. I really think the shoe looks like the Fear of God one, as far as like the laces go and just the form factor in general. I have a Fear of God one right now. All right, here is my Fear of God Oatmeals. You can see that the shoes really play off of each other. Of course, you do have these same rounded laces right here. Same kind of style, I mean, so I understand kind of where the concept is coming from, why he likes the shoe and why it is the way it is. It, it looks just like the other one. I mean, even the, the just the details overall on it are, are pretty crazy. Something I do want to mention is that on this shoe, it does say Fear of God Essentials, but on the other shoe, it says Converse. It has that Converse logo right there. And on the shoe that has the Converse, it does say Converse right here across the tongue. And then the shoe that has essentials on the back um, has essentials here on the tongue. I like little things like that. It shows creativity as far as letting, as far as the brand letting the designer be creative, uh, but also staying true to the brand itself. So that's something I really like, something, um, I mean, if I had a shoe, if I was working with the company and was designing a shoe, I would love for that to happen. That's, that's something that would have to happen, honestly. But yeah, on the inside, you do have like this black padding top here. Uh, it is quite padded, but below that black, it is blue 
on the inside. And then on the insole, it says essentials, but it says fear of God right under it. And this one has Converse on it. So this is like the Converse one, and this is the essentials. Everything that says fear of God or essentials on this one says Converse on the other shoe. So the right shoe would be the Converse shoe, and the left would be the essentials fear of God shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on foot. Uh, show you some ways I would style them. There's a lot of different ways you can style these. You can dress them up, dress them down. They're pretty cheap, 120, I believe, something like that. They are still available, so you can still grab these. I would definitely pick these up as a shoe that you can diversify your collection with. So, yeah, go ahead, put these on foot, like I said, and I'll see you right after. I did try these on. I would go true to size, maybe half size down. Just because I have a wider foot, I wanted to, to go like true to size. Uh, these do fit a little bit big, in my opinion. So just be mindful of that. And I, I really like how the pattern on these two is just like, it's not the same on both shoes. It like, it doesn't match up. I love that. But anyways, sizing yeah i'm gonna say true to size or half size down if you've worn a converse chuck taylor choose that sizing uh to go with they they still fit pretty good they feel the same as a jordan one if you have any jordan ones maybe a little bit more comfy than a jordan one um but they are kind of heavy that's the only downside to these i mean otherwise the shoe is pretty cool i i mean i like this shoe a lot i like fear of god i like jerry lorenzo I like what he's doing Obviously, I mean, I have this shoe and I have this. I have some essentials clothing as well. Um, only like, I think just one item actually. Um, but yeah, I got stuff. I like, I like, I like the work. I like the work. But not to forget that, of course, Jerry Lorenzo does have collaborations on the Chuck Taylor model. You know, he has like those, it'll be like, gray with like black and things i don't know i don't those are cool but actually oklahoma people there's not a lot of people that wear them but i see them a lot on instagram and stuff like that so i don't 
I don't really care for those. I th I just think they release too much. But I like this. Pretty different. You know, you know me, I like to be different. That's it, pretty much for this review. Uh, pick these up. I, I'm just going to say pick these up. Even if you're just thinking about these. Even if you weren't thinking about picking these up and you just thought to watch this review to kind of see what you would think about them, definitely grab these. If they're 120 bucks. They're they're not they're not expensive. You can return them, but at least get them in hand. Take a look at them. Try them on. Get a feel, because this is a shoe that I would definitely buy again. So here they are, in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this shoe. Is it a cop or a drop for you? Subscribe if you're new. Join the crew. Uh, like this video too. Never play yourself. I'll see you next time. Thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. Both of those. Click, click, boom. You're done. Dunzo. Don't make me come for your head top. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, I, I'm somewhere else right now.